Hola amigos, amigas, Tommy Tomahi, Heat, Calisto, Mexico, and the Lakeside area. Okay, I had put up a video about rentals and how different ways uh, one can get a rental here in the entire Lakeside uh, community. Um, what I'd like to say is I mentioned on uh, there were a couple occasions where someone got rents for $250 off, utilities included, and $350 off, utilities included. But those are far and few between. Those were done through word of mouth, and uh, I'm not going to say there's a lot of them. So if you're going to run down to... Um, uh, I he he coping you're gonna get one I don't know there's some hotels I put on a video there's uh some a couple hotels one of them was I was talking with the gentleman there and it's on video they're on video you you they're not on the camera but you can hear them in the background uh right uh just a couple blocks from uh the plaza on the Kittatetta Highway, there's a hotel, and a gentleman said they were paying, I think he was paying uh, 6,000 pesos, which is equivalent to uh, $300 a month. But those you got in those other apartments, they're word of mouth, or you got to go and check. But I want to talk about the city of Chapala, and you can get a Better chance you're going to get a more affordable rental and you're going to be able to live less expensively in Chapala, the city of beautiful city of Chapala, for a lot less money or less money than you will in Ahihi. Uh, you know, and your chances now, I'm, I'm going to tell you, there's some big homes and some big rentals in uh, Chapala. Very expensive ones, very beautiful, elegant, grand places, and also in uh, San Nicolas uh, de, de Ibarra, uh, one of the recent videos I put up. Well, that was quite expensive, but you can find beautiful rentals, and you can find uh, uh, there's some very elegant ones, not only in Ahihi, San Antonio, San Juan Costa, Hakota Pack. Ramirez del Pilar, and even in Chapala, you're going to find some pretty uh, nice homes. But for those who don't want to buy a home or those who want lower rents or can afford, I would really suggest trying Chapala. Um, try Chapala out and uh, do some research. And some of you already know this, but Chapala is a beautiful place. Um who knows? You know, I could even wind up in Chapala. I mean, I can afford to live in Ahihi in a nice place and even in a bigger place than I'm at now. But uh, Chapala is, I know a lot of people who live happily in Chapala and they get good rents and they get big places, huge places, talking about couples. Um, and then you get single people move into nice size homes or apartments there. So Chapala is one place you probably want to check out as well. Whether you have a uh, lower Social Security, uh, whether you are on a mid-range Social Security, whether you're on, uh, you, 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 you want to look or find something big, you can afford that. But uh, you can, Chapala is a very affordable place. Uh, there's been places for for 300 that I've uh, known. I helped the guy out. Uh, you can uh, hear more about that in a previous video uh, that I'm uploading now. Um, you know, hopefully, it'll get uploaded by tomorrow. Well, hopefully, because it's a rather long video. Uh, but it's got a lot of valuable information, so look at that. And uh, keep an open mind to Chapala and, and talk to people who actually live in Chapala uh, because they don't tell you. A lot of people will say it's a great place to live. So also consider doing research. And as I mentioned, I even talked with someone who lives in El Chante. Beautiful, 
big home there and she lives alone and uh, occasionally she has a friend come down and stay there and uh, she's got a good rental price there so San Juan Costa check out there check out Hakotepec check out Ramirez del Pilar even he has some really good uh, um, places that are affordable and then also uh, I eat, but you know the surrounding community San Antonio Chapala city of Chapala those places are really, you know, places you can look out to uh, live in, um, however you want and uh, go from there. So with that, this is a short video. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Look at the channel description that uh, I put up. I put up some uh, newer information and you'll find out more about this channel and uh everything some other things uh so please uh you know keep viewing and thanks for viewing today and uh, good luck uh finding rentals and if you see me um in town like other people have please ask me questions and i'll be a, you know be happy to help you i'll spend some time and happy to help you uh with certain things, you know, I'm not uh, long term. I, I've only been coming back to Port to Mexico for uh, four years. Uh, or I probably spent actual full two years uh, in uh, in Mexico, and I'm in my second snowbird season uh, because I've been to cities like Cuernavaca, Oaxaca City, Guadalajara a little bit, and Tlaquepaque, all these places, but. I've been uh, coming. This is my second snowbird season in Ahihik. So I do know some things about Ahihik. A little bit about San Miguel de Allende, but more so about Ahihik and this lakeside area. So, uh, in the whole lakeside area. So please stop me, as like other people do, and I'll be happy to help you. Have a great day, and uh, thanks for viewing.